In this video, we'll be doing a quick demo on a new feature introduced in HCL Launch version 7.1 called External Approval Processes. An external approval process is a new type of process uh, that will run immediately before a deployment if it's configured on your environment. First off, it differs from an existing approval process configured on the environment itself uh, in that a, ex our existing approval processes are really just a bunch of manual steps. Uh, so you have a limited amount of things you can do in the uh, process editor, and when you run a uh, deployment against an environment with a normal approval process on it, it will create a work item that a user has to respond to, and either approve it or reject it. Whereas an external approval process is managed not on the environment, but sort of in the global processes tab under a new sub tab called external approval processes. And they are very similar in structure to a generic process. Uh, these processes run on an agent and have access to our entire uh, step palette and can use plugin steps. Uh, this specific example is a trivially small one, and all it does is reach out to uh, Jira using the uh, Jira plugin to check the status of an issue and make sure that it has a be done status. Uh, if not, the process will fail. And when an external approval process fails, it uh, prevents the deployment process that is scheduled for that environment from proceeding. If it succeeds, the deployment process will proceed as normal. Another thing to point out in the configuration of an external approval process is that they can have properties on them. In this specific one, I have a single required property called issue IDs, and this is how I pass in the JIRA ID that I want to validate uh, and ensure that it's in the done state for my deployment. So on my JKE banking application, I have a QA environment that is configured with an external approval process, and that is done via the configuration tab of the environment. Uh, so in the existing require approval section of this, we have a couple new fields. Uh, one to select which external approval process we want to run on this environment and which agent that we want to select. So I can either select an agent pool or a specific agent. If I go to submit a request on this environment, we will see that immediately before the deployment runs, we will kick off the uh, external approval. And we'll see that right now on the request process portion of this wizard, uh, we are seeing my required issue IDs property that I uh, specified on my external approval process. Uh, so for the purpose of this, uh, we're going to use uh, a JIRA item with the ID deploy one, which we can see here is a JIRA item that has uh, the status of done, which is what our approval process is looking for. So we'll submit it, we'll fill out all the relevant information, we'll select it to run now, and we'll run our process. You'll see that immediately the uh, application process has not started yet and our external approval is running. You can check its progress here and it'll show every step. And we'll see that it successfully verified that deploy one had the status of done and my external approval process uh, Proceeded. Now let's look at a application process request who, uh, whose external approval process actually failed. So in our history tab, we can see uh, that the external approval failed um, if that was the reason why a application process did not actually uh, submit. So we'll view this one. We will see immediately the external approval failed, therefore our process request has been aborted, and we can expand the external approval progress bar to see uh, specifically why. In this scenario, I passed in a JIRA item that had a status other than done that we can see here. That concludes the demo for external approval processes. Thank you for watching. Thank you.